the mark's color grows more vivid. Early dawn. A few hours left until death closes in. So real quick, I want a bit of a tangent. I'm going to put some extra information in the description if you're wondering why there's been such a delay in getting back to this. Hoping it get resolved, but we'll see. Some people naturally put others on guard, even if there's no particular ill will between them. That's exactly the type of person Mashita is. Oh, you got some nice stuff here. The moment he climbs in the car, he makes a grab for my bag. Then he starts inspecting all my stuff. I wasn't planning on keeping a constant eye on him, but he's making it very hard not to. Moe seems like the type to stick her nose in everything, but... She's suspiciously silent, as if exhausted. Are you okay, Moe? Huh? No, oh, yeah, just zoning out. You know, I'm fine. She doesn't look fine, but... My other passenger is more of a concern right now. So, were you at the school because you were investigating something? I'm not on the force anymore, just poking around for my own reasons. Something I wanted to check. I don't doubt what he says, but that would mean he entered the school illegally. What were you... Let me ask one thing first. Mashita interrupts my question and points to my arm. Does that hurt? It didn't take him long to spot the mark on my wrist. Sometimes. It hurts the most whenever I'm in danger. Is that so? Mashita leans back in his seat, satisfied. I was investigating some missing people. Guess he's responding to my question now. That school came up in a number of missing persons cases. Each one had some affiliation with H Elementary before they disappeared. Teachers, workers, people in the PTA, students, and their family members. I was looking for them. Then... Moe speaks up from the back seat. Were those people... the corpses down there? She doesn't sound as energetic as she usually does. Did something happen after all? Is her mark? Mashita doesn't reply. Maybe he thinks the answer's obvious, or maybe replying to a kid isn't worth his time. But something bugs me about what he just said. If the school was clearly suspicious, then... Of course I brought it up to my superiors. All I got for it was... He continues before I can ask, making a slashing motion across his neck. You got fired, huh? Disciplinary discharge. Something about sexually harassing the subordinate. That principal's gotta have some kind of political pull. I probably dug up something he didn't want getting out. That wasn't my plan. Never meant to uncover anything dirty. True, the school did have that suspicious room. It's not that strange to think it would come up in some missing persons cases. That would be common sense, at least. But common sense is for the world of the living. A spirit might have something to do with those cases. There's an awkward silence. In that sense, this isn't even a case anymore, is it? Well, she just sighs deeply. Who'd believe it? Who would believe that there's a monster in that school killing people? It's personal now. Our problem, and we're on our own. He turns his wrist over and shows it to me. On his skin is the familiar mark. You too. Yeah, I sensed it as soon as I saw yours. I had a feeling this would be a problem. We're in the same boat, you and I. He has good instincts. We should talk more when we get back. At Kujo Mansion, there's some... I just have myself from finishing my sentence. I shouldn't mention that for now. In any case, once we get back, we'll give you more details. Yeah, I'm sure that'll help a bunch. But Mashita scoffs. Help, huh? You're underestimating me.
when I get out of the car, someone's there to greet me. Welcome back, mister. You too, Miss Moe. I'm glad you're unarmed. Did you find any clues about the spirit? What, so there are others? This is everyone. What a reliable group you got. The sarcasm is practically dripping off his words. So, are you all planning, to continu planning on continuing to search for that key or whatever it is? We don't have anything else to go on. There is no other choice. I don't understand you. If the source of the mark is the spirit, it would be best to destroy the source, don't you think? What do you mean? The spirit exists. So all you have to do is kill it. Are you serious? Of course he's serious. He doesn't exactly look like the joking type. Even if we manage to kill it, will that really make the mark disappear? When I consider everything Mary's told me, it doesn't seem like it'd work that way. Even assuming it did, we have a more fundamental problem. And how do you plan to kill it? I'll figure something out. If something exists, there's logically a way to destroy it as well. He claims he can kill the spirit, yet he doesn't even know how he'll do it. Where does all that confidence come from? Don't forget, I faced him once already. If we're seriously thinking of killing him... Mashina grasps, grasps his wrist. The little shit shot some, some kind of thorns at me from a distance. They hit hard enough to stick in concrete. There's no way to get in close to him. You have to make that a priority. Mashita pulls something out of the heel of his shoe and tosses at me. It's a thorn, curved like a fang. The only reason I'm still breathing is because I was lucky. It won't happen next time. We need a plan. As we head to the entrance, I tell Mashita about Kujo Mansion. He takes it all in silently. Even bringing up the talking doll or Sai at Kujo's death doesn't trigger a reaction. Is he so unnervingly calm because he's already dealt with the supernatural? We reach the main hall, which is warmly lit. This is a strange mansion, but for some reason, I feel like I've come home. Acclimatization is kind of terrifying. Welcome back, Lord Light. That man is a mark bearer too, I see. Why do you make the introductions? I update Mary on our investigation in the strange way we met Mashida. The mirror, the underground room full of corpses, the sudden appearance of roses. I really hate to admit it, but it's clear something supernatural is at work here. And the spirit that caused all of it, Hanahiko. There's no doubt that Hanahiko is the one who put the mark on Mashida's arm too. But... What kind of chance do we have against a monster that can do that? Mashida says we should kill him. But is that even possible? Hey, Light? My train of thought is interrupted. Mashida's holding a leather-bound notebook out toward me. Read this. I picked it up in that underground room. It was caught up in a bunch of those rose vines when I found it. It was pretty hard to get loose. Did you read it? I skimmed through it a bit. It's got some interesting stuff. That's what he says, but he's not smiling at all. His eyes simmer with a quiet anger. Dark red marks stain the cover. I have a bad feeling, but I flip through it. Rose petals fall as they become unstuck from the pages. The notes within are very detailed. The author was intelligent and well-written. Reading through it dawns on me that this was written by H. Elementary's principal. The austere, meticulous letters on each page tell a ghastly story. Records of a young adopted boy's tutoring sessions. The first note is from five years ago. Seems the boy adopted by the principal was small and exceedingly cute. He enjoyed wearing skirts and makeup, too. There was no denying that they truly suited a dainty, red-cheeked boy like him. But the principal had a hard time accepting such fancies. Bad habits must be corrected. Must be corrected young to promote sound mental health, he thought. So he called it tutoring as a cover for his warped desires. 
They took place in the underground room. Too many prying eyes anywhere else. There was no safer place than the school at night once all the teachers had left. The principal stayed behind under the pretense of keeping watch, then tutored. He was a highly respected teacher. He even made appearances on TV. There was no reason to be suspicious. The only one who noticed anything strange was the boy's homeroom teacher. But she feared the principal's power and firmly kept her mouth shut. As the notes continue, they are more and more deranged. They paint a horrible picture. It is of a totally, d a total distorted parent and child. My child gets weaker after every session. His delicate frame has grown thinner, and his red cheeks are now darkened. His appearance, they misspelled appearance there, is described in detail. But there is no malice or hatred. There's just fanatical sincerity. His pride as an educator, and a terrifying, smothering love. It continues like that to the very last page. There is no mention of what became of the principal and the boy, but going by the current state of H Elementary, I can hazard a guess. You don't look so well, mister. What was in that notebook? Sukasa peers up at me. He and the boy in the notebooks are about the same age. This isn't stuff you share with a kid. I better just sum up the main points for him. That's terrible. We children are always the victims of the ego of adults. Stupid grown-ups are irredeemable. Why do you, what do you, Why he'd say that makes sense. The revolting evil of the adults and the poor boy who became a victim. But is that really the end? If Hanahiko and the boy in the notebook are connected, then the boy turned into a monster. Is that even possible? Untimely deaths produce hatred. Death does not bring it to an end. Such festering sentiments can give birth to the supernatural. Monsters, ghosts, vengeful spirits, they have many names. I believe that you have all heard one or two such stories. Hanahiko is similar. Mary's words are hard to swallow, but after all those weird events, it only makes sense to accept them. If I turn my back to the truth, all that will await me is death. Then Hanahiko really is a monster. We must form a plan based on that hypothesis. Mary is silent a moment. Then her jade glass eyes shift to Mashida. Incidentally, according to Lord Light's report, there are those among you who are considering killing the spirit. I shall warn you just in case, but that will be very difficult to do. Why is that? I could see Mashida narrow his eyes, but I made sure to speak up first. They are from the world of the dead. Just as living cannot become more alive, the dead cannot be killed. The only thing you could possibly destroy is the cursed sentiment. So, what does that mean? It is as I told you before. Death and life existing together. If that is the origin of the mark, then a way to erase it will be there. By driving away the spirit, the curse will also be eliminated. So defeating Hanahiko is how we'll be able to destroy the mark. Setting aside how he can't be killed. What exactly is the key, then? It is nothing more than a concept, so I am unsure, but... I am certain of one thing. Fate ties the spirit to its place of birth. An object there may be able to fulfill the role of the key. It is a difficult concept to grasp, but that is just how spirits are. Determining the nature of the key, that will decide your fate. I had a feeling. We'll just have to keep digging around at H Elementary. We don't know what the cursed sentiments or the key to destroy the grudge are. Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You will be required to be callous to make use of the spirit's fear. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Remember this. And be careful. New info is added to the spirit files, secret of the underground room. So enough to show you how long it's been. <laughs> it's been one full week. Partner. Yeah, we'll 
bring uh, we'll bring him along. Um, talk. So this is. That wasn't as helpful as I'd have liked. So he has more power, but he has like no spirit power. A little bit more intelligence by the cost of dexterity. He is definitely a lower tier character compared to the girl. Partner, the brat. What'd you call me, boy? But on a serious note. So the girl's like the best partner. Oh boy. I don't know if I need to turn any of this down. Hey, wait. Mashita appears as we're getting ready to leave. Bad news. That high school girl. Miss Moy is gone. At least she's nowhere in the mansion. Speaking of which, I didn't see her when we were talking to Mary in the hall either. Maybe she ran away. That doesn't make sense. What would she accomplish by doing that? Running away from the mansion will make her mark disappear. It could be her form of escape. Many kill themselves if they know they are going to die. Or maybe... Something happened to her. Like the spirit's curse. Moe saw Hanahiko in the mirror at the school, so she's the mark bearer with the strongest connection. It's possible that he zeroed in on her, just like Tsukasa said. But... There's nothing we can do. Let's get ready to go. Yeah, we can't really do anything right now. Even if something happened to Moe, if we can get the marks to vanish, that should save her too. Let's head out. We're going back to H Elementary. Elementary. I know full well that in the end this place is just a school. Let's go. Sukasa nods silently and steps forward. So, has stuff changed? There are roses here now. We saw it earlier, but the hallway is completely transformed. Seeing them like this, are roses really all that pretty? When you look close, they're scary. Huh? What's that? Sukasa suddenly speaks up. Where? By the window. See? Over there. Something sparkling. The window. All I see are rose vines. I may as well check it out, though. Something's glinting over by the window. Looks like something buried in the rose vines. There's definitely something there. I didn't notice it before. No, maybe it wasn't there yet when we passed through here earlier. That guard from before. Did he drop that? Maybe. Might have fallen on the floor and been lifted up by the vines. It's only now that it's high enough to be spotted. If it belonged to the guard, then it could come in handy while we're investigating. He was in charge of watching this building, after all. Let's check it out. Going off the reflection, it's probably metal. I think I can get it if I stick my hand in there. Or we can use the letter opener. I take out the letter opener and cut the vines that are in the way. Takes some effort, but I finally managed to reach the metal object. And we have the keyring. Yep, it's just as we thought. 
These definitely belong to the guard. Keys will be extremely useful. We can get into places we... Tsukasa suddenly cuts off mid-sentence. What's wrong? Nothing. I just forgot what I was saying. Anyway, let's keep looking around. New info added to the spirit file. Continue investigation in the school. So I don't know what all is locked. Oops. We have the keyring, can't we? Ah. <laughs> it's an abandoned desk. It's a desk like you find in any school. What's surprising is it doesn't look very weathered. Guess that goes to show how durable school desks are. I'm gonna stick my head inside and feel around. Something pokes my finger. I grab it and pull it out. Wire umbrella. Why pick something like that up? At least it seems to open up. Not like that to accomplish anything. Research. Plan to strengthen weeds. Plants grow in sunlight, so I used a mirror to see what happened under lots of light. Result, when I put in lots of light, the leaves turned white and I got sick. What I learned, shining too much light on plants is bad for them, too. You shouldn't need research to figure that out. They could have at least studied why coral becomes bleached. An umbrella that withstands a typhoon. When you open an umbrella in a typhoon, it will break because the wind's too strong. So first I try to put holes in the umbrella, that way it wouldn't break in strong wind. Note, when using it, put a plastic sheet on it to transform it into an extra strong umbrella. Huh? The strength of an umbrella protects from thorns or branches blown by the wind. Is this kind of pathetic research normal in other schools? I'm almost jealous. Well, that's just rude. What's he going to be like as an adult? I know a kid did the research, but it's still silly. I have an idea. The umbrella we found earlier might have been part of the display for this research. Still, though, what's the point? I shrug and stuff it in my bag. I see the nicely folded dark plastic sheet among the garbage. Their blood denies him. Without conscious thought, I start speaking. Blood denies him. Does that mean to repel with blood? What's the matter? Give me a second. I pop up with the wire umbrella. Then I spread the plastic sheet over it. Just like it said in that research paper, you can create something like an umbrella, but it's not fastened on. It'd be impossible to carry it around like this. So we'll have to hold it together to use it. Thankfully, there are two of us here. One person to open the umbrella first, and one person to spread the sheet. If we manage a combo like that, then we can use the bloodstained sheet as an umbrella. Sorry to make you wait. Whatever. You aren't seriously planning to use that for something, are you? I'm not sure. But I get the feeling that everything is here for a reason. I ignore a look of suspicion from Tsukasa by studying the flashlight in my hand. Bloodstained Umbrella. There's a chalk case attached to the blackboard. The aluminum chalk case is dense all over it, as if something hit it. Something's inside the chalk case. Found a worn-out talisman. And then you know the drill. An aquarium covered in moss. The glass is terribly stained, making it impossible to see inside. I hesitantly stick my hand in the tank. When I do... Is there something inside? My fingers touch something cold. There's some water left inside. It's just water. For some reason, Tsukasa looks disappointed. It is an aquarium, after all. There's enough water left that I could scoop it up if I had a container. 
I take the plastic bottle out and put it in the tank. It gurgles as it fills with water. You're not going to drink that, are you? So is there anything left in here? We need to go forward. And I think this is the other room that I couldn't get into. So... Hey, still can't get into it. So, over there is... Like, is there a way to pull up the map in full? I need to make a map or something for this place. So the area we're looking for is behind us, I believe. So there should be another locked door somewhere. I thought it was further ahead that way, but... That's not sparkling. This one is. I use the school keyring and open the door. I move to step into the classroom. And suddenly there's a strong grip on my shoulder. I glance at the hallway out of the corner of my eye. I'm pretty sure Tsukasa was on my other side. No, even if they were on this side, they'd have no reason to grab me. Calm down. I'm just imagining things. My voice doesn't sound very convincing. Don't panic. It's an illusion. Calm down. Hold it together. An icy chill envelops my right side. Stupid brat. I turn to Tsukasa and open my mouth to tell them. When I do... I see a terrifying face in the darkness. Then, an outline lying in wait for me. Earthbound taught me anything, it's when all else fails, pray. I squeeze my eyes shut and pray. Just then. What are you doing? With Tsukasa's voice, the figure vanishes. I find myself standing in front of the door. Mark burns scarlet. Dawn. Half an hour left until death closes in. Are you alright? Yeah. Sukasa picks something off my left shoulder. This is... The hand I felt gripping my shoulder was actually a rose thorn. But more importantly... Sukasa. What's the matter? You're acting kinda... Huh? Something's wrong. He's not acting normal. Amnesia. My heart pangs with worry. Is Tsukasa spacing out because the curse Mark's curse has progressed? But I don't understand. I'm still the same. At least, as far as I know. Let's go. Right. Tsukasa shuffles forward like a zombie. Something is seriously wrong. This is bad. Danger crept up on us so quickly. We're running out of time. This condition might get worse. I'll figure something out.
plan to destroy weeds. I pour different liquids onto the weeds in my yard to see which is effective. Results see miso soup and D salt water worked. Conclusion salt water can destroy or salt can destroy weeds. Dissolving salt in water first makes it easier for the plants to absorb and speeds the effect. Observing office ladies. There are six office ladies who ride my train. I observe them for ten days. I learned popular colors are brown and pink. Everyone's hair is brown and their mouths are pink. Wow, kid. Wow. The plants are dry and withered. Oh, well, you guys don't have green thumbs. Does the roof have a leak? The ceiling looks stained in places. A white powder is scattered around. It's a coarse powder. It glitters in the glow of the flashlight. I'm not really inclined to stick it in my mouth to make sure, but it's probably salt. If I had a container, I could take some with me. Well, do we want salt water? I take out the bottle of water and fill it with powder. Now we have salt water. First, purify with seawater. I hear that voice again. Seawater. So that would be salt water then. The mark is dyed a deep crimson. A few minutes left until death closes in. A loud noise suddenly rings out. A terrible pain runs through my wrist. Feels like something's biting into my bone. Sukasa, Hey, are you listening? Yes, of course. At least he's still replying to me. But the way he's acting is... We can't keep going like this. Move, come on. My shout rings through the building. New to us added to the spirit file. Last stand. So let's actually pull that up. Time simply passes while we have no clue where Moe is. My partner's acting strange too, like his memories are deteriorating. Why does it feel like death is closing in? We have nowhere to run. My only choice is to face the spirit using the information and tools I've gathered, and... Is my partner for the f showdown okay with that? Plus, how am I going to deal with the Threat of the Thorn? I've heard so many riddles, but I don't know what they mean. And the latest whisper, purify with seawater first. What's that about? Guess I'll have to do that before anything else. I'll have to think this through in order to survive. Well, let's go ahead and go back. Let's go back, literally. It's gonna take me a little while. Oh, no, never mind. The instant I step into the hallway, a strange, indescribable feeling hits me, like a solid presence is closing in on me from deep within the darkness. A rabbit appears out of nowhere, then it runs down the hallway. I thought that was it, but it stops far away. It turns back as if to see what we're doing. Wait, wait up! I grab Sukasa's wrist and chase after it. We chase after the rabbit and arrive at the eastern staircase. We chase the rabbit right up the eastern stairs. Part way up, I trip over something. What's this? Moe's bag is on the staircase. We now have her bag. Inside the bag is some random junk along with her school jacket. What's this doing here? But if it's here, that means... Is Moe in the school? Then I remember that we were chasing the rabbit. Where did... I look around for the creature. Just then, red drops of something fall from above. It's scarlet rose petals. 
I slowly raise my eyes up to the ceiling. The instant I see that, I let out a groan. It's heavily weighted with both fear and relief. Moe is up there, hanging from the rose vines. Miss Moe, so this is where you were? He points at her, strangely amused. But she's not the only one up there. There's a corpse hiding in the vines, too. Looks like that guard. Suddenly, the vines snap like the weight is too much, and Moe crashes painfully to the ground. Hey, hang in there. Yeah. I quickly glance over to her to make sure she's not hurt. Her mark is obvious. It's swollen, pulsing, and red like a large, dangerous looking pomegranate. Looks like it's progressed a lot farther than the mark on my wrist. I see. So this is why. Did she get desperate and come to the school to try to do something? So you didn't run away. In any case, I need to get some clothes on her. I take the jacket out of her bag and slide her arm into a sleeve. She's still pretty out of it, but she manages to get the rest on by herself. Oh, it's you, mister. Why... The Mark's progression must be affecting her just like Tsukasa. I doubt anything I say will make sense to her. And besides, right now... He's here. Hanahiko knows. I know. But what should I do? What am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to hide. I look at Moe and Tsukasa. Their eyes are unfocused. We'll, we'll die here. We'll all die here. I'm the only one who might have a chance of overturning that fate. Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You'll be required to be callous to make use of the spirit's fear. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Mary's words echo in my head. I open my bag and look through everything I picked up throughout the school. Is one of these the key? But it all looks like junk. Garbage is all I have. Hanahiko. When I first saw him in this mirror, he was just a monster. But now I feel like I know why he came to be. I'll just have to face him. Believe that I have the final key. Believe. Trust in myself. So choose a partner. Moe is still out of it, let's stick with the brat. I grab them, shake their shoulders, and yell. Get it together. There's nowhere to hide. We have to go. Come with me. Hanihiko. Tsukasa makes a vague sound. But that's good enough. We're going to release him from his curse. <laughs> Hanahiko is staring at Tsukasa. Hey, they aren't a grown-up. Fine, only big people die, okay? A sound like slithering vines comes from Hanahiko's direction. The next thing I know, a small sharp object grazes my face. Mist. You won't be so lucky next time. I get the feeling Hanahiko is planning to attack me from a distance. I need to do something to reach him from this far away. Facing a spirit. To defeat a spirit, you must use the right item at the right time. Both you and your partner can use one item each. Choose according to the situation. Item usage limit. Some items are limited use, so please take care. Check the number to the right. Also, some items cannot be used when facing a spirit. Combo actions. When facing a spirit, two items can be used together. This is a combo action. It is executed if you and your partner use the right items. Strategy hint. 
You can read the spirit file or item descriptions at any time. Open your bag using the X button. So real quick, if you had Mashida here, you wouldn't even get the chance to do this. The ghost would just insta-kill you. So what we need to do is guard. So I'm going to... I don't know if the order matters here, but sheet and umbrella. I'm ready to cobble together umbrella. This should be able to block the thorns. What the heck is that? That umbrella is in my way. His cold voice rings out, sounding slightly angry. An ego shoots a rose thorn. Thorns fire as fast as bullets, but only bounce off the bloodstained sheet. Their blood denies him, so that's what I meant. The impact of the thorns causes the sheet to start to fall off the umbrella. If we don't put it back on, we won't be able to protect ourselves. Hanahiko sways closer, as if the umbrella is irritating him. We might be able to do something if he comes a little closer. How to weaken spirits. To defeat a spirit, you must use a specific item to weaken them. It can't be used until the spirit is as close as possible. When that happens, the screen outline will glow red. Endure the spirit's attacks until they are in range. So, you know what that means. Umbrella sheet. I put the plastic sheet over the wire umbrella. On he goes shoots a rose thorn. Okay, there's still no mark, so... I put the plastic sheet over the wire umbrella. Hanahiko shoots a rose thorn. Hanahiko comes up close. Countless vines wriggle in his oddly shaped head like poisonous snakes about to strike their prey. At this distance, the umbrella is pretty useless. It's obvious I'll be killed instantly if I don't do anything. This close distance is my only chance. Should I use an attack against spirits or an attack against plants? Is there a way I can fight back? So... This is the decision point, whether you're going to get the normal ending or the good ending. If you want to get the normal ending, you want to use the salt water and the flare, because that will prey on the ghost itself. Instead, we will use the lipstick. Light throws the salt water at Hanahiko. Vines hit with the salt water quickly stop moving. In the hazy darkness, I can see Hanahiko's face twisting in pain. How mean. Are you going to tease me now, too, mister? He starts sniffling as if he's about to cry. He looks weakened. How to defeat spirits. Defeat a weakened spirit by using specific items. Choo. Yeah, that's chose. It's supposed to be choose an item based on the info you've gathered. You only have one chance. Think carefully. <laughs> so, they don't actually specify your partner, it just says, took out the lipstick. I put the lipstick on Hanahiko's lips. What did you do? Hanahiko is weakened. And the moment of truth. So this one you want to use the mirror... And this doesn't matter. I don't know if you get in trouble if you use the flare. It's just... We'll have him use the hard hat. Light points the round hand mirror at Hanahiko. I turn the hand mirror toward him to make him look at the lipstick. He stares at his reflection. This is... red stuff. I've been looking for this for so long. My keepsake from my mom. Are these memories from when he was alive? He smiles with his red lips. Am I... pretty? <laughs> the spirit
Beard melts into the darkness with a smile on his face. I don't sense Hanahiko anymore. So if you use the flare instead, your partner dies. Just a heads up. We won, didn't we? Yeah. Kinda hard to believe, but it looks like we did. Mister, look! My mark disappeared! Sukasa excitedly flashes his left hand at me. It's true. The mark is gone. What about yours? Oh yeah, my right hand. It's still there. My mark looks exactly the same as before. Why? Why isn't it going away? Sorry, mister. It's almost dawn. Am I going to die? Ah, found you! Started feeling better all of a sudden, and then my mark was gone. So, you beat him, right? Yes. But his mark hasn't vanished. Let's head back to the mansion. Mary might know just the thing to do. Yes, you're right. Let's go, mister. Sukasa leads me away. Huh? Sukasa is feeling his pants pocket. I don't have my house key. Did I drop it somewhere earlier? His glance back at the school is troubled. But there's no time for that now. After all, you could die. Go on. Huh? Just make sure you're back in five minutes. Go. Get moving. And that's the wrong color text. Okay, I understand. Sukasa runs back into the school. Jeez. You do know we're in a big hurry. Sukasa shrinks in the distance till they disappear inside the building. A violently cold wind whips past me. It's coming from the school. That's not normal, especially for the start of summer. The wind dies down, and out of nowhere I get a really bad feeling. Should I have let Tsukasa go back inside? Five minutes pass. Tsukasa isn't back yet. What's Tsukasa doing in there? We better check. I step inside and go down the right hallway. I make it all the way in front of the room where we fought Hanhiko, but... I don't see Tsukasa anywhere. Strange. This should be the place. Mister? Don't scare me like that. I nearly blew my safety whistle. What are you doing here? You're late, so I came looking for you. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. It's dark, so it took more time. If only you'd let me the flashlight, then we wouldn't have had this problem. He seems sorry enough, but man, he's as impudent as ever. I'm so relieved. A huge weight lifts off my shoulders when I see he's okay. Come on, come on, let's go. So if you didn't beat Hanahiko the right way, you would just find an item that tells you that Hanahiko killed your partner. We all climb into the car and head straight to Kujo Mansion. You're safe. My mark's vanished like it never was. So things must have gone well, huh? Glad to see you found Moe, too. You're frowning. What's wrong? Well, his mark hasn't gone away. What'd you say? Hey, what's going on? Um, mister? We'll tell Mr. Mashida about everything. Please go see Mary. Welcome back, Lord Light. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations are in order. Her tone is the same as always, but for some reason it grates on me. 
What's so great about it? Why hasn't my mark vanished? It is likely the one who gave it was not Hanahiko. I'm suddenly lightheaded, the world fading. I had risked my life during that investigation, and it was completely useless to me. I guess all that's left is waiting for dawn and my death. Lord Light? If it is alright with you, would you mind showing me your mark? I hold my arm out toward Mary. Her neck shifts slightly as she stares at the mark. It is as I thought. It is only a minuscule fraction. But the fate I sense from this mark has been distorted. What does that mean? Is it because I beat Hanahiko? The flame of your life was indeed fading at one point, but it has now become brighter. Are you saying I'm not going to die at dawn? That is correct. My sigh of relief is so deep it feels like my soul is escaping my body. The mark still burned on me, but it seems I'll be okay for now. It appears the mark you bear is different from the ones I know of, but there is no doubt that it was given to you by a spirit. Then... There are other spirits like Hanahiko that give people marks. Yes. Spirits born of grudges have an insatiable hatred for the living. This persistent hatred is not sated by simply killing the living. Rather, they drag their victims to the depths of despair before their death. That is what they desire. The mark is an effective method. Spirits who wish to terrorize the living. The more I hear, the less I understand. It appears something within H City can easily create such spirits. Though I cannot say what it is. So for me to escape my mark, I need to find the spirit that gave it to me and take care of it then. Yes, it is logical to believe the mark will disappear with the spirit. That is the only way to escape death and regain your memories. Soon be done. It will soon be done. I'm sure that you are all tired. Please rest. You are free to use any room. Thank you so much. Seriously. If you hadn't been there, I probably would have been killed by Hanahiko. But when I think about you still having your mark, it's hard to be happy. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. You did great work today. You're much more competent than all the other adults I know. Though it only makes sense for adults to help children. It will be challenging from now on. My schoolwork has suffered due to my memory loss. I need to study hard to catch up. You do your best, too. Well then, good night. I think I'm heading off myself. With that mess of trouble taken care of, I'm sure I'll crash right away. Oh, right, here. I have this. He pulls a small paper on from his beat-up coat and hands it to me. It looks like a newspaper article. It's about that boy who died. Before he was adopted, he lived with his mother. She understood her son unlike his hard-headed adoptive father. She put makeup on him in front of a mirror. She very much doted on him. After all that hell at a young age, then dying, that was probably his only good memory. Mashina's smile was sad. Well, it's up to you how you interpret it. Do whatever you want. See him. Lord Light, there is something I must tell only you. About those who lost their marks. They must leave in the morning. Those who escape their fate should return to their daily lives. That is the will of Lady Saya. So I'll be the only one left behind. I feel like a student repeating a grade. Lord Light, by any chance... Are you uneasy about being the solo occupant in this mansion? But I have you. I must express my extreme gratitude that you hold me in such regard. All of the things I am capable of are rather limited. Mary stares unblinkingly at me. I could just be extrapolating it, but it does seem like she's thinking about something. Now then, Lord Light. 
It would be for the best that you take your rest as well. Please find me when you're ready. Farewell. New info is added to the spirit file. Machina's collection of articles. Other. So... I'm hoping they'll let me save at the start of the next chapter. We'll see. This is so painful to record right now. It's nearly dawn. Better get some rest. Use talk to continue the next chapter. Are you retiring to bed? She actually did say goodnight there in Japanese, in case you're wondering. A very formal way of saying it, though. 